What's up lads and ladettes? How are we all doing today? I hope you guys are doing fantastically well. So, today's video we are going to be hunting combibos. Now as you guys know, combibos are one of my favourite things to hunt. Why? Because they were the first thing I ever globaled off of and they're the mob that gave me the single most coolest global. Not Hoth, but global. So we're going to be hunting some combibos. We've got 40 PED to utilise. We're going to be using our corrosive attack nanochip 4. Standard sort of affair. We're probably going to switch over to our pixie for 100% honest. We don't really need it. Um, but armor is armor, so might, might as well throw it on anyway. You know, it's the less we'll have to heal. And uh, I wanted to talk to you guys today about the society that I'm in, which is called Diabolical Dominion. It is the society that Law Spade runs. Good old Law Spade. Law Spade runs it. And one of the things that he has been doing recently, thanks to another person named Mac, who is a part of our society, but he also streams on Twitch, um, they have been doing swanting groups. And I just want to say, if you are looking for uh, something that's social, where you can uh, like where you can make some PED, like genuinely make some PED, and receive free heals and free synchronization chips get more sweat than you would usually get but also potentially be in a group that gets globals and potentially hoffs then i highly suggest joining our society and we are going to be opening up the swanting groups for people that are not in the society we do also do team hunts but the team hunts will be limited to just society members but uh, we're going to be doing swanting, uh, swanting things, like swanting groups, nearly every day. From my understanding, we're going to be doing it nearly every day. And I think this is a really good opportunity for some of you guys that have either limited amounts of PED, or you guys are completely free to play. This could be a good opportunity for you guys to come in, uh, get some skills, for one, get a decent amount of sweat, but also be in groups that will hopefully hit relatively big we go uh they've had uh quite a number of globals so far they've hunted well sorry they've swanted some long tooth they also swant the atrox they hunt uh they swant a few other things uh they swant i think it's the neomax uh, the neomax they also swant they swant a whole bunch of things. I think Law Spade is talking about trying to swant the aloe fills. There is a uh, caveat to that. There is a couple of rules that are in place for relative fairness. Um, we're limiting our DPS to essentially a Bukens. Essentially a Bukens rifle. So this 5.1 DPS of a Bukens spare rifle. You cannot put any amps on your thing no one has amps not law spade not me uh, no one has amps on their guns you are allowed to have sights and all that sort of stuff because it doesn't it doesn't add to the the overall dps it adds to the cost but not the overall dps um but not a massive cost a lot of that cost goes back to you in like skills and things like that Ooh, that was a nice little drop 5p nearly what was that that's actually Ooh, that is about that is about about six PED. That one was very very nice. So we're over two hundred percent now. Cool, cool, cool. Fingers crossed that we actually you know stay at a good thing. I like combibos. They're one of my favorite ones to 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 hunt. They're just easy and fun. But as I was saying, with the swanting things, uh, you're gonna receive free heals from either Law Spade, or myself, or from Mac, or from anyone else that is, uh, that volunteers to do healing, so you'll receive free heals, you'll also receive synchronization as well, so if you get hit, you don't lose the draw of sweat, um, as long as the synchronization is actually on you, so you'll get free heals, free synchronization, you get to keep all of your, um, all of your sweat, and, uh, the only thing that is, that we're trying to figure out, we're not 100% certain on it, but what we're trying to figure out is how we're going to deal with if someone uh, loots a, if someone gets given a 
like a high value item, like a really high value item. Like let's say, uh, let's say we're swanting aloe fills, and someone loots a, uh, a a shopkeeper pad, for instance. You know, they got the same amount of TT value, uh, or very very similar amount of TT value to everyone else within like ten or whatever PEC, but they get a shopkeeper pad. You know, we're still trying to figure out what that sort of, uh, you know, how that will go. Shopkeeper pad, probably split it between the whole thing. So there will be times where uh, we will split certain loots between people, like between the whole group. So it's sort of like that lucky chance thing, but it'll be like a, it'll be like a case by case basis. If you loot an amp and you want to keep that amp, um, then there's a fairly, fairly good chance that We'll, we'll let you keep the amp. I know I would let you keep the amp, but I'm not the one that runs it. Um, Law Spade and Mac, they are the ones that run it. I kind of just help out. Um, and I also get in on the fun, the the, the actual sweating and the, the swanting. Uh, I think the other day we actually had a global, which was really fun. Uh, really cool. We got a decent-sized global, and I came out with, like, you know, an hour or two of swanting, and I was up by, like, 5 PED. It was gr like, you know, not including the sweat. I was up by like 5 PED. It was great. And the good thing about being in a swanting group is it goes, like, if you're in the swanting group, the mobs that you kill, it does go towards your codex. Ooh, 7.35. Nice. It does go towards your codex mission. And it does go towards other missions. So let's say um, you have. I don't know. Uh, for example, today, I was doing this... I think it was called Touch a Nerve? Yeah, this daily, which I need to finish. But I was doing this daily, and uh, I was curious to see whether or not killing the... like, swanting those long-tooth youngs yield progress. And sure enough, it 100% yields progress. What did I get? What did I get? Ooh, 39 in BLP Pistola. Nice. Very, very nice, nice, nice. So, yeah, it's it's quite nice. It's quite good. And being in the group... And the groups are... Like, the, the Swanting runs are also live-streamed. Uh, I'm considering live-streaming a couple myself. I'm not 100% sure on, on that yet. Because, you know, the person that's hosting it... Well, well, the person that's streaming it is generally the person hosting it. And all that sort of stuff. So, not 100% sure on it yet, but... You know, I think it would be really good for people in, uh, you know, that are subscribed to me to join in on the fun. There are limited spots in the Swanting team, though. That's the only... It's the only sticking point is that there is a limited amount of spots in the actual Swanting team. So... It's, it's, it's one of those things where you'll have to play it by ear, you'll have to message either me or Law Spade and say, hey, is there room in the Swanting group? Um, and obviously, if there isn't, then you'll be put on a sort of a waiting list for um, when someone leaves or decides they've had enough, and then cycle through. And of course, if I'm in the group and someone like one of you guys want to join, like get into the group, then I'll be more than happy to leave the actual group and, uh, you know, just do some sweating on the side and, uh, not actually join in on the swanting, the actual killing of the mob, but, you know, join in on the actual sweating. That's, com that's, I'm fine by, I'm, I'm fine with that. But I think it's a good opportunity and it's, it's one of those things where you'll not only make, like, not only will you get sweat... But you'll be able to, you know, swant stuff and build up your codex, which will ultimately give you more skills. And as a new player, if you're able to swant bigger mobs that give, you know, uh, I think with the aloe fills that I did a rank two. Now we were using, no, not the aloe fills. I was hunting the aloe fills, but we're planning on swanting the aloe fills. With the aloe fills, I got to rank two today. And rank 3 is going to give me nearly six, 60 PEC worth of skill stuff. So, there's always that chance that you you will end up getting um, a decent amount of skills from it as well.
So just from the standpoint of essentially getting more sweat than you would be able to get on your own. Like, I was swanting today with them for maybe an hour or two, and I got, like, 1.2k worth of sweat. And it didn't really feel like sweating because, like, I was in Discord chatting to Lawspade, and we were just hanging out. It, it was it was fairly, fairly decent. And that's the thing, if you wanted to get involved in the Discord conversations, you can. You know, it's, it's uh, one of those completely open-air kind of things. You can hop in, you can chat, you can hang out, you can ask questions if you have questions about the game. Then you can do that. I know that there are a bunch of new players coming to the game. Apparently TikTok has picked up Entropia Universe. No idea why. Either it's because uh, certain people that really love the game have started bringing it up on TikTok. I saw one video that had like over 290,000 views on TikTok. <laughs> talking about the amount of like, you know, uh, talking about Never Die. Never die. For those of you that don't know, uh, basically bought. He bought. I think. It was, I think he bought Crystal Palace, or something like that. He 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 basically made a shitload of money, uh, in game. That's pretty much the skinny of it. If anyone actually feels like writing up the whole history of Never Die and putting it in a comment, I'll pin it so you can read it because it's fucking great. It's an interesting story. Um. Hey, it's an Xarasaur. Yeah, all right, we'll kill it. Uh. But yeah, uh, for, you know, people that are coming over from TikTok that are just starting, this could be a really good introduction showing you that you don't need to spend money to play the game. Now, I will say, if you're going to, if you are coming to Entropia Universe, treat it as if it's a monthly subscription. Genuinely. You can play for free if you want, but you need, like, it takes a very, it takes a very specific mindset to play for free. Like, a very specific mindset to play for free. Because when you play for free, you're not making any money off of Mindark. You are making... Like, you're not making PED off of Mindark. You're making PED off of other players. Right? So it's a very specific mentality. You need to understand that I am getting my P... Ha! <laughs> oh! Dude! Hell yeah! Fif nearly 53 PED. We are up today, boys. This popped a bloody global. Hell bloody yeah, man. Just popped. Just popped a bloody big... See, and this is why I like combibos. They, they're fun. No, it, it's it's great, and you guys will be able to see it, and it's going to be great. I'm going to hopefully have that as a thumbnail. I'm going to have it as a thumbnail. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. But anyway, so... <laughs> things like that happen, and it doesn't take much to kill these guys, right? So, you know, I guess even that happens. If you, if you sweat mobs, and then you sell the PED to other people, there's a chance that you can get, you know, big globals and big hoffs, and make money that way. But if you are coming... Um, if you are coming to Entropia Universe, treat it as if it's a monthly subscription. Uh, I think, uh, I think World of Warcraft, it's about $15 a month, 10 to 15 US dollars a month, depending. Just treat it like that. Throw in, you know, get a, uh, get an ammo pack each month, and then, you know, make sure you do some of the pre -to free to play stuff. If you are a new player, I definitely recommend sweating and swanting because it will give you um, it will give you extra stuff, extra like larger markup stuff. Because that's the thing, every single mob has a really high markup item on it, while every single animal mob has a really high markup item on it, and that is sweat. It is universal across every animal mob. Hey, tier four, tier two components. That's cool. Tier 2 components, that shit makes me happy. Um, so, yeah. Treat it like a subscription. Because one, you'll get more f you'll get more fun out of it. And there's going to be people that are like, Oh, but you know, you're, you're just throwing money away down a casino. You're not going to make that money back. You're not going to make the money back if you put it into World of Warcraft either. Or if you put it into a 
like a any other video game. I mean, yes, when you pay a monthly fee to World of Warcraft, you get the entirety of the game. You know, and you do get the entirety of the game in this one, but it's just because it's a real cash economy, it just it works differently. It is just different. You got to play smarter. You got to play within a budget. You got to, you know, do things to make stuff last, to ex to extend stuff. You know, there's a lot of things that you should keep in mind if you're coming to play this game. Especially those of you that might be coming from TikTok. If you're coming from TikTok because someone's like, you can make thousands of dollars in playing this game, they're not wrong, but it's very misleading. You can make a lot of money playing this game. You really can. But it is very misleading when people are like, oh, you can hop in and start making money and start making lots of money instantly. It's very misleading. What you can do is you can hop into the game, have fun, that and that that's a that's a genuine guarantee. You will enjoy the social aspect, you will enjoy the various activities that are in the game, the hunting, the mining, the crafting, the intricacies of it. It, it is very good and there's daily missions that you can do to keep yourself occupied. There are missions that you can do for free that give you free shit. You know, if you if you go to the Arcadia Moon, for instance, uh, newer players will have no idea what the Arcadia Moon is, but it is a planet, well, it is a moon next to planet Arcadia. You can get free ammunition there every day. That is something that you can do. You can get free ammunition there every single day without any issue. That's something you can do. You could go to a planet called Rocktropia and you can... Uh, you can do a mission there that will give you some PED each day, but you can technically do that mission for free if you if you pick up oil and you pick up a few other things that are completely free to get. You know, and and there's a lot that you can do for free to stretch your game time, including just doing low, low, low level hunting or low level mining, like a hundred and. Uh, let's let's say you were to put in fifteen dollars a month, and you were to do something that's called trade terminal mining (TT mining). For a hundred and fifty PED, you would be able to drop. You would be able to drop a thousand probes. Like you would be able to do a thousand drops. If you were to, if you were to use only one specific section of the mining, you would be able to drop, you know, probably 1,500. And that will last you forever. That will last you a long time. And it gives you the feel of the game to figure out whether or not you like the game. And that's the important thing. You need to... Th when you play the game, you got to think, do I like the game? If you don't like the game, don't play it. Don't play this game to make money because you will hate it. It will... Com it will... It will make you very, very annoyed and upset if you come to this game with the specific intention to make money. Now, there are going to be people that completely disagree with that notion that, oh no, making the money is is the, the biggest, biggest driving factor that everyone should play the game for and everyone should strive to make money in the game, blah, blah, blah. Fair enough. But you know what? I'm not planning on making quote-unquote money in the game. I am keeping all of my PED in the game. Because what would be better? Being able to cash out a hundred bucks each month? Or having thousands of PED that I can utilize to then go and kill high-level monsters, high-level mobs, robots. Go and hunt gorgons on in ancient Greece. Go and hunt dragons hunt essentially giants go and hunt king kong because yeah you can go and hunk hunt, you can go and hunt zombie king kong <laughs> that's the thing you can do you can go over to rock tropia and you can hunt a zombified version of king kong he is incredibly powerful and you would probably need a not a nice group to do it but you can do that there is a zombie king kong to hunt you know there are a lot of different things you can do and you don't need to take the money out of the game. You can leave it in and just enjoy the game as it is.
So I think when it comes down to it, you really need to have a think about why you get why you're getting into the game in the first place. And some people will be annoyed that I even mention it. Some people will be very frustrated that I've even said don't bother trying to make money in the game or don't don't have it as a driving factor. And I rec and I recognize and I understand that. But I think players coming in that are new should understand that it is a slim chance that you'll actually make money. But if you play the game for what it is, a sci-fi game with literally infinite progression, and no, that's not a joke, there is literally infinite avatar progression. It's insane, the amount of progression. You can play this game your entire life. I don't even, I don't think there's any kind of level cap on any of the skills. So you can constantly grind them up and keep getting health. Like HP and all that sort of stuff. I do not, I do not think there's a cap. If there is a cap, someone please tell me if there's a cap. But I, from everything that I've seen, there isn't one. There might be. There might be. In fact, I'm going to look that up right bloody now after we kill this Ixarasaur. I'm going to look it up and I'll, I'm just, I'll just let you know whether or not there is or not. Looking at it right now, there is no caps, but it does slow down quite, you know, it, it does slow down quite a bit. But then once you get over level 100 in something, it changes. It's, it's very interesting, but there is no level cap. Absolutely none. Uh, uh, what am I, what am I doing? Where, where, where are my things? There we are. There's my things. There is no level cap. Which means that this game is the one game that I've... Like, I've always wanted to, just to play an MMO where there is no cap. Constant progression. Because it would give me something to do constantly. And Entropia Universe has provided that. There is always, always something for me to do. If I have PED or if I don't have PED. If I don't have PED, then guess what? I'm out there farming my skills. I'm out there farming my defensive skills. I'm out there getting fruit and stone and, and sweat, but I'm farming my defensive skills. And I'm getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. With no cap. That, to me, is a brilliant reason for me to play the game. Because there is no cap. There is none. And, and I love it. Uh, I, I can say, hand on heart, I love this game. And even if, even if there was, n like, you play the game and there was no cash out possible, right? There is no cash out possible. And, you know, it's still an in-game economy, but it's like any other MMO. But there's infinite progression. I would still love it just as much. I would. I would. And that, that's, the, that's the hand on heart, God's honest truth. I love this game that much. And, you know, there's going to be people that are like, oh, but without the real cash sort of thing that it's just a shit game, no one would, would want to play it. Yeah, well, I would. I would want to play it. Because it's a sci-fi game with infinite progression that I really enjoy. There is no level cap. No level cap, infinite progression. It's a sci-fi game. There's literally hundreds of different mobs to hunt, different things to create. There's mining, there's crafting, there's... There's everything. You can own a shop in this game. You can own a shop and stock it full of stuff and make actual money from stuff. You can own a piece of land, run events on that land, have people come and hunt on that land, mine on that land, and give you money. P.E.D. Like, you can own shares in planets that will pay you dividends each week. I mean... <laughs> I love this game. I love this game. And just like that, I, I am... I am... I am... I am very happy. <laughs> Holy crap. So what is this? That's... So I came out... I, I, I came in with... Uh, 40 PED worth of universal ammunition. So I've gone through... Nearly 40 PED of universal ammunition. Two point... What is that? 2.8... It will be 2.85... 2.85... 2.85... 2.85... 2.85... 2.85... 2.85... 2.85... 2.85... 2.85... 2.85... 2.85... 2.85... 2.85... 2.85... 2.85... 2.85... 2.
yeah, 2.85 PED of decay. I came away with a big fat global, an extra, an extra 60 PED. This was a good hunt. This is a very good hunt. And on that note, I'm going to be leaving it there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're new, and a special thank you, a big old special thank you to my Patreons, Bill Flatter, Devon327, and Entropia Market dash Entropia Hub. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can for as little as $5 a month. It goes to support the channel and possibly go towards funding some events later on down the line. And if you didn't know, you can also super chat, like, sorry, super thanks me on my video. So if there was a specific video that you really particularly enjoyed, or you just want to help support the channel, you can throw, like, a dollar at me, or two, if you wanted. Apparently, YouTube does that now. Um, but that's not something that I'm pressuring anyone to do. I'm just letting you know that it's there. Anyway, you all take care, stay safe, and I will see you all in the next one. Join the Diabolical Dominion.